So guys, I am back with another Power World video. And today, guys, for you Power World players out there who wanna go into your own world, use your own custom settings, I bring you guys what, in my opinion, are the best settings to use. How's it going, guys? My name is DPJ. And if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps out. And if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. So for those of you who are not aware, you can literally, guys, create your own playthrough and how this game is for you. Now, it's kind of like creating your own server in a way, uh, which is cool. And I know many people will take advantage of this and I don't blame you. I wish I would have. I've had early access now for over a week. I should have used my custom settings to make things a lot easier for me so I could bring you guys more videos. My problem was I just wanted to play the game the way I believe it's meant to be experienced, which was on that normal difficulty. But I think that's just me being an idiot. But yeah, custom settings in this game are a massive part of it. And inside of here, guys, there are many, many, many things you can do. So what I will say is, guys, coming from a normal difficulty, this is what each one does and, well, how it will affect your gameplay. So first up, as you can see right here at the top, we have daytime speed. Now, initially I thought, well, I want the days to be longer, but I want the night times to be quicker. And then I thought, well, actually I played a lot more and I thought, no, that's not what you want. Because at night time, there's many, many benefits to it. Uh, I mean, yes, you can decrease your daytime, so you get plenty more daytime. Bring it down will make your daytime speed uh, be a lot longer, so your days will last way longer. Here, I wouldn't go too far, though. I mean, I'd probably go to a point three. Now, if you don't like night or you like night, but you don't want it lasting a full day cycle, I'd probably put this to about 1.5, maybe. If you don't like night at all, put it to the very top, but I'd probably go over 1.5 to a 2, which is pretty quick now if you guys to xp rate i always left this on a one i probably should put it on max but i mean it just means guys uh, the game's just going to be a lot quicker for you i mean i wouldn't blame you again this is probably something i should have played around with uh, before making the videos when i had early access but that's long gone now but if i were you i'd probably go to a plus I don't know because I played Ark a lot and plus 10 servers just seemed everything was just way too easy uh, and you don't want this game being too easy because you'll get bored very quick so I'd probably go between a if you do want to change this I'd probably go between a 2 a 2 and a 7 maybe if that's too much I'd come back because you can always come back into the main menu and edit these I mean if you want to go all out just put it on 20 you're going to be at max level within about an hour uh, but yeah I'd probably go between I'd probably go to about a five you know I think five will probably be all right if you do want to experience things but at a faster rate if you've got a full-time job if you've got college work in school whatever and you can't dedicate your life to a game like this I'd increase this no problem there whatsoever but hey just try around with this guys again I've always kept mine on a one so yeah two times would be quite crazy but not too crazy actually so again, you're between a 3 and a 7. I think you'll be fine. Anything higher for me will be way, way, way too much. Okay, so power capture rate. Now, what I will say is, um, this definitely does take away from the game. Um, I mean, you can't adjust it that much. But what it is, when you throw that power ball, that polka ball, that sphere, you, you'll notice it, it hits them. You get like a number percentage come on the screen. And it takes its time to work its way all the way around. Um, the few seconds it takes to work its way around, that that pal has got a chance of escaping. You put this on max, it just basically doubles your chances of the capturing it. Um, but yeah, this um, I do think would probably take away from the game. So I'll probably keep it on a one. But again, it's your choice. Now, power perform well, power appearance rate. A note affects game performance. Well, obviously it will. Now this goes to a three, so you can three times the amount of powers you have in your game. Now what this means is the rarer powers you'll see in a game, like the shining powers, these are the shining Pokemon in the game, they will be more apparent. But there will be powers in the game, I mean this doesn't affect individual ones, it affects all of them. So the more apparent powers, like at the start of the game, you get like the Lakativas and the uh, little sheeps and the all other things, there's going to be millions of them. So yeah, if you're going to play around with this, 
test it first. I'll probably go to a max of two, double them up. Anything higher will be just stupid in my opinion. Probably 1.5 would be perfect there. But there we have it. Damage from Pals Multiplayer. Now, if you want to make the game harder on yourself, you put this up. If you want to keep it as normal, keep it on a 1. If you want to make it sort of do no damage to you whatsoever, <laughs> put it on 0.1. I mean, I don't feel on a normal mode, which is where this is at a 1, that it's too crazy. I mean, the much higher level ones are obviously going to one-shot you, but you want that. I mean, even if you do, guys, take this down to a 0.1, you come across a much higher power than you. Your chances of capturing it, even with um the capture rate all the way up are gonna be slight especially within the early days of the game so yeah this is a game something you can experiment with but me personally i'd probably keep it between a 1 and a 0 0.5 so it's got 0 0.7 damage two pals multiplayer so how fast do you want to damage a pal and the thing about this is and the way this game works is to catch a pal you have to take it down to a low health you put this too high up, you're going to one shot everything, which is not what you want to do. Um, I actually saw a clip of a guy who had this. I'm not sure what he his was, but he put it up and he's running around, just punching him, one hitting absolutely everything, meaning he was getting plenty of those power materials, but he couldn't tame them. So, I mean, damage to power is multiplayer. I mean, I wouldn't go anything over a two. Uh, keep in mind, if you're a level 10, and you come across a level five pals, you're almost one shot in them. So yes, yeah, between, about a two probably seems right if you must change this, but yeah, that's up to you. Now, power hunger depletion rate. This one I understand because them little bastards, they're working for you at your base. They eat a ton of food. Even when you're out in the battlefield with them again, they want feeding quite a lot. So this one, not point, what between 0 0.1 and 0 0.5 makes sense to me. So let's go 0.2. Power stamina reduction rate. Now this one uh, it affects uh, certain powers over others. Things like those mounts, this drastically affects like my flying mount, it loses stamina pretty quickly. Uh, so for that instance, I'd probably want to take this down to about 0.5, between 0.3 and 0.5. Uh, especially the ground mounts too, when they're running uh, and them using their abilities and things like that. This would definitely affect that in a good way. So take this down a little bit. Power Auto HP Regeneration Rate. Now, powers do regenerate health uh, if they're not in battle and not being hit. You can use, uh, you can retract them into their sphere and they'll uh, regen health too. Um, it isn't the fastest, if I'm honest with you, and especially if you're if you're in a boss battle and you've only got like your five powers on you and they're getting clapped up. For that, that alone, I'd probably take it to about a two or two and a half. I mean, that doesn't seem interesting high to me because I know exactly how fast they do recover. So a 2.5 seems about right there. A power sleep regeneration rate, health regeneration rate in power box. So when you're at your base and you've got your base, you have to create those beds for your pals. When they're sleeping, they regenerate their health, but they also regenerate their health if you put them back into that power box. The power box is basically a massive container you can store all your pals. Um... This one's a little tricky. I'd probably say anything between a 0.5 and a 0.8. I mean, it's it's okay at a one, to be honest. This isn't something I've actually thought about thinking it needs to be quicker. So anything, 0.8. In fact, it's a regeneration rate. You want this higher, what am I talking about? You don't want it lower. So I'd probably say about a 0, between a, a one and a 1.5. So let's just go 1.3, why not? Okay, so damage from player multiplayer. So if you're playing against other players, uh, I don't think this means NPCs, um, you can adjust this how you seem fit. Uh, but don't forget, in fact, if they come into your world, put it down, they do no damage to you. <laughs> you put yours up, you're going to slap them with one shot. But that's unfair. That's completely up to how you want to do this. I mean, you can turn multiplayer off, so you don't even have players joining the server so that's something you do really want to mess around with yourself but again just be a a bastard um keep your multiplayer on damage one players put down put yours up if you wanted to be a, if you wanted to be a see you next tuesday there you go okay so player hunger depletion rate now again you do get pretty hungry when you're working you're crafting you're farming this and the other so this i 
think between a 0 point, about 0 0.3 seems about right to me. You don't want it too low because then it's just pointless even farming food. Uh, player stamina reduction rate. I'd probably go again about 0 0.5. It isn't too bad, especially if you put levels into it. But if you want to save those levels and put them somewhere else, you can go all the way down if you want. But I think about 0 0.5 seems about right. Player auto regeneration rate. Now your health early on replays super, super slow. I'm putting this to about two, two and a half. Two, 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 two point two. That seems about right. Uh, player sleep, uh, HP regeneration rate. Again, guys, when you're resting, I mean, I actually don't recall. Do you regenerate your health? I can't even remember when I'm doing this. Uh, this you want to try and test, but again, 0.5 to a 0.5 and a 2 seems about right. So we'll go a 1.7. No, 0.5, a 1.5. My bad. Okay, so damage to structure multiplier. Now you will get raided if you don't turn this off. There's an option down here. Um, now you will get raided by groups of bandits, by <laughs> groups of other pals. Uh, and they will damage your structure if you're not defending your base or your powers don't defend your base. So this is something you may want to keep in mind. I'd probably take it down to a 0 0.5 if you're keeping the rating on, but that's completely up to you. Structure deterioration rate. Now, this is something that I haven't really clocked onto. I mean, I don't think it's too mad. If I'm honest, I, I've noticed my workbench just drop a bit of health here and there. So yeah, I mean, it's the lower the better in my opinion for this, so probably 0.3, that seems about right to me. Maximum number of dropped items in a world. What this means is, guys, so let's say for instance you have a pal at your base and he's farming a rock, but he, ha he doesn't gather them and put them in a storage box for you. This means there can only be 3,000 of a said item, I believe, dropped on the floor. Now that's quite a lot when you think about it. Uh, I don't know if you increase this, what's it going to do to your performance? It goes all the way up to 5,000, but I do think that's what this is. Or it could be items on the floor before others start despawning. I just do not know. Uh, this is something I haven't really tested. I don't think I've ever had anywhere near 3,000 items on my floor in my servers. But hey, this is something you definitely need to test. So I'll probably leave that, to be honest. You don't want to mess around with that. Uh, gather what items multiply. So if you're farming trees, if you're farming rocks, if you're, I don't know, doing what you got doing, increase it to as much as you want. I mean, it only goes up to a three. That isn't massive, to be honest. Uh, and again, early days farming with pickaxes and axes is quite slow. Uh, but with this, guys, you will need more weight too. So keep that in mind. So if you adjust this, probably take it to a two should be good. If it's too slow for you, come out and put it up to max. But again, you need to think about your weight as well. Gatherable items, HP multiplier again guys i believe this is i mean this is good the way it is uh in fact probably times by a point one maybe i'm not sure yeah but about a point one should be okay if you notice a crazy difference and it feels off for you definitely come back and change that gatherable items respawn interval now what this means is, so if you build a base next to trees, rocks, things that your pals and yourself can farm, eventually they will respawn. Now, it isn't slow, but it isn't massively quick. So I'm probably about two doubling up on it uh, is about right. Uh, dropped items multiplier. I don't know what that means. Dropped items multiplier. So if you drop, I drop items, do they multiply? Put that all the way up, people. I don't know. I'm not sure what that means, you know. Dropped items, multiplayer. If someone else knows what that means. Let us know down below because I'm confused. Okay, so hours to incubate massive eggs. No other eggs also require times to incubate. So this put down to a zero. Now, I've actually tried and tested this because I had hundreds of eggs. One incubator, and I mean, it just took ages. And you got a... Think about the heat as well. You need to keep the heat on them or keep them cool at certain points. Otherwise, it just it takes ages to actually do so. Um, one or two, one or zero, guys. This is fine. Enable raid events. This is completely up to you again. Like I said, your base gets raided though. It does uh, do damage to your structures and what you have. Uh, you can turn this off if you want to. That is completely up to you. 
you can think about that and hey do what you gotta do now death penalty so when you die in this game you drop your bag with all your items now if you die twice i'm not sure if you lose them but that would be harsh but i think that may be the way it is if you die twice we have drop all items selected have your death penalty i think you may lose all your items if you move to the class drop all items and powers on team so powers in your party at the time you lose them all that is gutting i'm turning this off drop all items except equipment like me or like your materials that you got inside your inventory nope i'm turning this off no drops whatsoever so if you die you ain't gotta worry about going back to where you died and picking up your body i mean i used to play there's a, a thing like this in outer ring um man oh man i lost so many runes in that game dying trying to climb around a cliff then dying again trying to retrieve them so yeah i'm turning that off every day of the week okay so number of guilds now guilds is your basically your clan uh you have an actual menu inside of your settings inside of your game world here i think 20 guilds is more than enough if you're going to have other players in your server that's completely up to you but you can increase this decrease this try and test this guys it's completely up to you but think about it and adjust it but there we have it guys there probably what i'd say uh, after playing this game for over a week now would be most definitely the best options you can go with for your custom world again though guys again if you work full time uh if you've got school college you study coursework homework whatever you can't spend 20 hours a day on a game like most well like me uh being a noob um you will want to increase some of these and decrease cer decrease certain things but you want to try and test them obviously first and there we have it guys the best uh world settings for power world custom world settings there we have it guys did enjoy the video leaving a like really helps out if you like what you see and want to see more be sure to subscribe and hopefully guys i will see you on that next one